So what we're going to do is up here, we're going to create another PHP block underneath the R videos title. And I'm going to go ahead and copy line 59 through 61 because we're going to reuse this query. I'm going to do paste. And then we're going to close this while loop. And this time what I'm going to do is something similar to our nav. And that is I'm going to create an unordered list. And make sure we put this outside of the while loop. Then after the first then here in the while loop, after the first curly bracket, we're going to close this. And then open PHP down here. And back this up to one line. There you go. And we're going to do our list item. And within there, we're going to do an A tag, and we need an href. We'll fill that in in a second. Go ahead and close that. So we're going to generate a list of videos. So I want to first echo out the label, and we'll just go down here and copy this and paste it here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to send a value back to the browser or back to the page. So we're not going to put a page name here in the href. We want it to load in the same page. So we're simply going to do a question mark ID equals. We're going to do video equals. And I'm going to and I'm going to output the video ID right here. So I'm just going to copy this again. So I'm going to go down here to where we have the video ID already. Copy this and paste it there. So we basically created a bullet list with the two video names, each name being a link, and it's going to reload the page, but send the video ID through the URL back to the page. So to demonstrate that, let's go ahead and save and upload. And here we go. So here's the list we just created. And you can see when we click on this, reloads the page, but sends video and the ID. So video equals one, video equals two. So we come back to Dreamweaver. And now what we're going to do is for this query we did earlier, we're going to first take off this while loop. So we need to get rid of the curly bracket, the parenthesis that went with the while loop, and then down here we need to get rid of we need to get rid of this curly bracket as well. And then what we're going to do is before the query even runs, we're going to do an if statement, and we're going to do if and we're going to say is set get which this get array is the array that holds the values that we pass through the URL. So we want to get the video key. And we're basically saying if get video has been set, if there is a value to it at all, go ahead and do something. So we put our starting curly bracket here. We're going to come down here on line 87 and put the closing curly bracket. And we'll go ahead and tab some of this out. And here's where the magic happens. So now our query, we're going to do select all from videos where ID equals get and then 
video. Now it's important to note that when accessing an array value within double quotes here, we do not need to put the single quotes in here for the key. So we don't want to do that. So this is cool. What it's going to do is when the page reloads, if, if this video key has a value, then it's going to go ahead and run this query and load that value into the ID here. So we'll check that out. Before we do that, we need to close line 69 here, the semicolon. So we'll go ahead and save and upload. And instead of refreshing, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that and hit enter. So there you go. We don't have any videos being displayed here. We have our list of the two videos. And let's go ahead and click on one. So there we go. We loaded video one. And remember, because it's disabled, it's not showing the player. But if we load video two, there's our player. And that's pretty cool. And to finish this up, go ahead and take advantage of that same deal. And, and what we're going to do is come up here in the head and do a PHP block. And we're going to do if is set. We're going to do the get video key. And we're going to come down here and we're going to grab our query again. So line 76 and 78, we want to copy that. And we're going to come up here and on line 17, we're going to paste that. So again, if there's a video ID being sent back to the browser, we're going to run this query and um, and for this one, we don't need to get all the columns. We're just going to grab the label. And all that's going to do, everything's going to be the same. We're going to get the video array will be created, but we'll only have one key available, and that will be the label key. And what we're going to do is create a variable called page underscore title equals And we'll do video label. And then we'll do else. And we're going to do page underscore title equals my video website. that and then for title do PHP echo page underscore title close that and we're good to go so save and upload and I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out so we load our page and our title is my video website. But then when we click to open one of these videos, the title now changes to the name of the video or the label of the video. So, pretty cool. So hopefully with these examples you're able to start kind of brainstorming on how you can take advantage of this data and do more dynamic stuff with it. Now there are way more efficient ways to do some of this by functioning some of this stuff out um, and things like that. So just a little hint, maybe take a look at the function series to learn a little more about that and how you can take advantage of that.